Good evening and welcome to Mallorca. I'm currently here for the Copa del Rey regatta with Mal Jim and as you can see I'm still in my travel outfit. I actually have worn my Brunello Cinelli sneakers to death. You can see the brown mark on the toe which is very sad but I'm gonna let you into a little secret. I actually picked up a second pair because I just get so much wear out of these I was like I just need to have a really fresh pair because I know that they will go out of stock and I won't be able to get hold of them so I'm gonna keep one pair as fresh as I can and I'm gonna have these um, looked at by a cobbler just to see if they can like keep them in the best condition possible and then when all else fails I will be replacing them with the fresh pair that I've already got but I am just about to jump in the shower and head out for dinner this evening and I'm going to be meeting the team for the first time so a nice soft start into the regatta and uh, I think then tomorrow we're going to be up nice and early and we're going to be heading out on a boat to watch the sailing and we'll see what's in store but of course I'll be sharing with you uh, the Mao Jim products. I actually had a sneaky try on at the airport of some of their different models. They've got a huge range and a huge variety of uh, sunglasses and I'll talk to you a little bit more throughout the video about their glasses. They do have some patented technology which is really cool and they've got some very classic styles which is very much up my street. So anyway I'm going to stop rambling, I'm going to jump in the shower and then I'll be sharing with you this evening's outfit before heading down to the lobby to meet the rest of the team. So there's a quick look at my balcony views and this evening's outfit is this Luca Floney blue linen shirt Cartier Santos and I've gone for my Brilia 1949 stone coloured linen trousers and the Aurelian espadrilles so we are going to head for dinner and hopefully have some good food Like Good morning, as you can see I'm looking beach ready. We're actually going to be heading out today on the catamaran with Mal Jim ahead of the Copa del Rey regatta which I'm really looking forward to. The last time I did something like this was at the Isle of Man I think it is or it could be the Isle of Wight and it's the Sail GP and they're actually really exciting races if you can see the action you can actually get involved with what's going on kind of reminds me a bit of Formula One like you really have to have an earpiece in to understand what's going on on the floor and then when you're viewing it you can kind of see the action happening in real time so it should be a lovely day we're going to have a great viewpoint from the catamaran also just being out on the water fingers crossed i don't get seasick the guys said last night at dinner which by the way was very lovely we had paella which was exactly what you should have when you come to spain and uh, it was delicious and the team are absolutely lovely so it was a a really successful evening but going back to what i was saying the seasickness thing can sometimes become a problem for me and so i spoke to them last night and they're like don't worry we've got seasickness tablets and i was like fantastic so it's currently i think in the 30 degrees already and it's about 10 a.m and i think that today we're going to be going up to 36 37 degrees and we're going to be on the water so i'm going to try and stay protected i've got my sunscreen on i've got my sunscreen on <laughs> i've got my sunscreen on and uh, i'm all set ready to go got a little bag with me my camera equipment this is actually the bag that i got at the ritz carlton in the maldives and it's come in very handy so today's outfit is the knitted um short sleeve shirt from surplus I'm wearing this pendant from Crafted London. It's actually too small to come off my head so I can wear it in the water and I won't lose it. Cartier Santos. I've got the Salmon Pink Chi Studios or Chase Studios swim shorts on and my Hermes sandals. So I'm all set ready to go. I'm gonna go down to the lobby, meet the rest of the team. And I think we're gonna actually start the day off with a brunch. We've just come down to the port and we're just about to jump on a speedboat. Make our way over to brunch this morning. Costa, Philip, with the part in the hotel. So I believe that this is our catamaran for the day. You can see like the Mao Jim flags over the boats. We're just about to stop here for some food, as I mentioned. <laughs> All the race boats lined up over there ready to go later today. Super casual. So we have the King of Spain just walking through here. Hola. 
Ah, no. Ella se encanta. Sí, no está. Estaba con Carmen. El protocolo de que funciona toda la perfección. Esto que quizás tenemos. Apoyo de todos. Sí, gracias. Que vaya bien la pelata. Just arrived to our lunch spot today. We saw the boats are heading out. Looking cool in here. Gracias. Just below us here are the boats that are going to be racing today. Got Monaco out here. Keep an eye out to see if there's a uh, British UK boat out today. Let me know, would you want to be this dude here? It's just hanging up there. Just chilling <laughs> halfway up the sail. There he is. Class. Right, we're going to enjoy some food and then I'll catch up with you when we're on the catamaran. We are waterside and we've just come to the Mao Gym sunglass spot where we're just taking a look at all of the different styles that they have. So I actually have selected, I think they're called the relaxation mode. Um, I can't, oh, no, I can't show you them because they've been taken away. But um, I also did select the Cheetah Fives. These are my selection as well. Quite yeah. <laughs> busy out here today. Not yet. Have you? <laughs> Lunch looking good today. We've got some sushi, bao buns. Looks like we've got some uh, fried chicken wraps as well. Looking good. so many around it's insane Just about to anchor down. come to Palma Nova Beach and we're going to spend a little bit of time in the water. I have to admit, you can't see the bottom. It's looking very dark. 
but I'm going to put my concerns behind that there's anything in there that's going to try and eat me. But I can see something white down there. What's that? I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, so we've just finished off our day on the boat and we're just heading back now to the hotel. I'm wearing my relax mode glasses from our gym. It's been really lovely, we managed to go in the water. I can't believe how warm the water here is in Mallorca. Surprising, it was like as warm as it was in the Maldives, but I think this evening we've got a dinner in an incredible location. I think it's like a renovated castle, so we're gonna be heading there later on for some food and uh, we're just about to go back obviously to freshen up and ready for the sea. Good evening, as you can see, I've caught the sun a little bit today. I was wearing sun protection, as I mentioned earlier, but I always get caught out my nose and I do apply a stick. I've got a Factor 50 Elizabeth Arden stick, but I obviously just don't do it enough and uh, probably not quick enough after I've been in the water. So um, I got, got a little bit today, but we had a lovely relaxing day on the boat. It was super chilled and um, test driving the sunglasses was a success. They're really comfortable and uh, in my opinion, nice and stylish, and they serve their purpose. So it was a win-win-win all around, but we are just about to head to this evening's destination for dinner. I thought I'd quickly share with you tonight's outfit. We were asked if we could wear jackets. Um, it is quite hot, so they said, look, bring them with you and uh, you'll be able to take them off. But I think the destination we're going tonight said it would be preferable if uh, the gentleman could wear jackets. So this evening's outfit is this Reese double-breasted blazer. I've got a short-sleeved Reese navy shirt on. I'm wearing my Tom Sweeney trousers and my Lauro Piana summer walks. So we're all set ready to go. I've also got my uh, Cartier Santos on. So we're all set ready to go. I'm gonna uh, pop down to the lobby, meet the crew, and we'll head over to this evening's dinner. Looks like we're going up there for dinner. This evening's dinner spot. This looks nice. Well, it looks like we're at a huge event this evening. We've got canapes. Wow. You guys want, anybody want a drink? Yeah, that'd be amazing. Gracias. Starting the night off with a nice cold brew of San Miguel. Straight from the tap. Bellissimo. Well, this morning we've come down for breakfast. I've gone for a, uh, a quarter English with croissant and the other boys interestingly the Germans have gone for the scrambled egg and uh, they've got the bread on there as well I'd say that their plates are very similar here however niche in my brand new Copa del Rey polo. I had a wonderful time in Mallorca. The weather was fantastic and I actually came back from a trip for the first time without feeling very tired. And I think it's a combination of a couple of things. I traveled at very sociable hours, which meant that I wasn't having to have early starts. We didn't consume much alcohol on the trip. We didn't go to bed too late and also on the boat day we spent a lot of time relaxing all in all i've come back feeling very fresh raring to go and uh, i've actually just spent the morning doing a little bit of editing editing this vlog and going through my stories and getting them out it was fantastic but i did realize that i was going to speak a little bit more about Mao Jim as a brand and I actually didn't get the opportunity whilst we were there because it was really noisy uh, when we were out on the YouTube. You can't come here and start making noise when daddy's trying to film or nibble on my toes Barkley, not food. And 
it was really noisy on the boat. So I didn't want to ramble on for too long on there and then realise that none of the content was usable. And so I thought I'd quickly sit down now. Mao Jim were born in Mao, Hawaii. And as a company, they like to live by the aloha spirit, which basically means the presence of breath or the breath of life. And they say that every opportunity we get to see the sun is a chance to say aloha. And it means that there's a good possibility of a good day ahead. And obviously the company specialise in all eyewear. On this particular trip, we were obviously focusing on the sunglass element. Now, one great thing they do offer, which I know lots of brands do now, is they offer the opportunity for you to be able to put your prescription in the sunglasses, which is fantastic for anybody that wears glasses and would like to have prescription. They also have around about six, seven or eight different polarized lenses that you can have in, so like different colorways. So you can actually kind of like custom make your own sunglasses with the style that you like. Now they don't offer that, I don't believe, on all of their styles, but on the majority of their styles they do. And I believe they have over 125 styles. When I went on their website, I think it was something like 130, six styles or 139 styles that came up that I could select from. That's taken a unisex stance. Um, I don't know exactly the figures for the ones that are directed towards male or females, but that's where they're sitting currently in the uh, sunglass market space. They've got lots of different styles, lots of different options. Now, whilst we're talking about the lenses, they actually have a patented technology called Polarized Plus Two. This technology eliminates 99.9% .9 of glare, it removes 100% of harmful UV rays. It also enhances the colors that you see. And from my first hand experience, it also softens it as well. So the particular lenses that I had in mind had a warmer tone to them. And I would describe them as like wearing like a filter. So if, as if I was editing my pictures, there was like a nice warm filter that the sunglasses gave. It also absorbs harmful blue light as well as being grease repellent, sheds water, and it resists scratching. And so it appears that they've gone to great lengths to create this technology, I guess, to make their product stand out and to give them that slight premium edge um, over other sunglass brands. So for me, it was my first time getting to know the brand and getting to learn more about the brand. They are a very relaxed company. They've got bases all around the world. Um, I was actually sitting at a table with representatives from America, Germany, the UK, and where else was it? I think that might have been it. Oh, of course, and in Spain. They are far and wide. They were obviously founded in Hawaii, and so they've probably got a great presence in America already. They just had some really nice classic styles, and I will leave a link in my description box of, say, like my top five styles that I thought were really nice. I can't remember the exact names off the top of my head. Costa Williams, who was a German creator that was on the trip with me. Um, we met in 2017, I was at a Puma event in Germany and uh, I met him, Daniel and Sandro at that point and we just stayed in touch ever since. So it was really nice to link up with him again and he was wearing the uh, Mongoose style, which is actually a collaboration with Man United that they did. They look really smart on him. Uh, he's a super cool dude. If you uh, are into your men's fashion, then he's definitely somebody that you should go and check out because he's really cool with his street style and stuff. So yeah, that's Costa Williams with a K. I thought just before we move on to getting stuff done around the house, I wanted to share with you the sunglasses that I selected, which are called the Relaxation Mode. And I really love tortoiseshell sunglasses and I felt a little bit boring selecting them because I'm like, this is so safe for me. Do something a bit different, Ali. Maybe some clear... Uh, frames or even like some tinted lenses but no kept it safe and uh, <laughs> kept it to the tortoise shell because that's what I know best but they've got um, really nice strong firm hinges on them which I think maybe might loosen over time but it's really important for me when I'm wearing sunglasses that they're not all like loose and flappy so this this feels good they've got a really nice border I don't know if you can see that runs around kind of like outer edge of the frames which I just think gives it a nice little bit of detail. And uh, if I put them on for you here. You can see you can see my eyes through them a little bit. It depends obviously where the sun's facing, but um, they fit my face really nicely. Yeah, I was uh, very pleased with my selection. And they have the Mao Jim text just in the top right hand corner of the right side of the uh, glasses. And they've also got it just on the side of the frame here as well. So very subtle very understated. I can confirm that they worked very well. So I will leave a link down to these in the description box as well. My dogs are trying to let me know that there are people next door. We have people next door today. 
Thank you, Porter. Something very exciting arrived whilst I was away, and they are my Lauro Piana Summer Walks. I think I spoke in my last video about my hunt for moccasins, and I just couldn't find the Lauro Pianos anywhere um, in the colour I wanted, which was sad until I came across a website called Sugar, which I was a bit like, mm, I'm not sure if I trust that. <laughs> Never heard anyone talk about it. I'm not sure if the website named Sugar was something that filled me with great confidence. I don't know why. I've got nothing against Sugar. It's not a personal attack on Sugar. I paid out the nose for them. They have arrived and they fit beautifully and I'm very happy with them. I picked up the camel ones for now, which I'll quickly share with you. Not that you need to see them. Here's the box. The dust bags. And my lovely, elegant Loro Piana camel moccasins. Now, I actually did want them in the dark brown, which is the colour that you always see me wearing and you saw me wearing in this video. And I wasn't sure whether these were the camel or the brown. And I've just said that I saw the camel ones. I actually wasn't sure because there wasn't a description. There was just a picture and it's always very hard online to see the true colour of things. So um, they turned up and they were like the camel colour, which is fine. A colour that I love. I have the espadrilles, as you know, in this kind of colour. I said it in my last video. Those Velasco Milano loafers that I picked up are so comfortable and I actually got complimented when I wore them to Vista Village to go shopping. Someone asked what brand they were because they wanted to pick some up and uh, I would definitely buy more from them but obviously the heels were thicker and I just don't think you can beat the Floro Pianos um, for, for me, you know, my foot shape, my foot size. They're the perfect width, they've got a lovely silhouette and I just think they're so timeless and classic. They just last really well, as long as you take care of them, of course. And so I know that these are ridiculously expensive for what they are. They last for two years and I get as much use out of these as I have my other pair, then I personally think that they're worth investing in. I'm happy to have these. We'll continue to buy this style of shoe in different colorways um, as long as they're quite safe because I like to keep things, as I said before, quite neutral and wearable, which is something that's really important. I wasn't expecting to get hold of these because they are like gold dust getting hold of these at the moment. So um, happy days. So if anybody's after a pair of Loro Piana Summer Walks in a particular color, check out Sugar. If you're in the US, you're laughing. If you're in the UK, just be prepared. Make sure you order your right size because otherwise that would be an expensive uh, purchase. But I am going to possibly look to see if I can create a reel from the trip that I've just been on, which I'm gonna do in a second. I need to grab myself some food. Lydia's in London today. Tomorrow, I have a little bit of time to do a little bit of organization in my wardrobe, which I'll potentially be vlogging. And then in the evening, uh, we're gonna be shooting another campaign at sunset. So fingers crossed we get the good weather. Currently is looking very good. And then on Friday, I have organized a golf day for me and three of my friends. We're gonna be heading to um, the Cotswolds Golf Club, and then we're gonna be going to the farmhouse, and um, we're just gonna be chilling and uh, catching up. So I'm really looking forward to that because I played golf the other day at the charity event and I played really well. And I now have my new clubs, and so it's gonna be the first time I get out and play with those clubs. So I'm very, very excited to get out and use them. Nice weekend ahead of me, because we then have golf again on Saturday with my dad. Um, Lydia's like, but you're already playing golf. And I'm like, oh no, come on, <laughs> I haven't played in ages, and I've got new clubs. And so I booked in two games back to back. And then we have a wedding to attend to, which should be really lovely. And then on Sunday, I think it's chill. So um, it's been a nice week been doing lots, it's been busy, and uh, I'm feeling good. The only thing that I'm not feeling so good about is the level of effort that I'm putting into the gym at the moment. It's below par. I've actually just downloaded a new audio book called You Can't Hurt Me. It's written by David Goggins, and it's basically about his life, and he shares some of the lessons that he thinks that people should take from his learnings in life. And I'm probably about three or four hours in, or maybe even more, four, four to five hours, it's 15 hours long. 
but the guy's life, ooh, wow, it's brutal. He's been through some beep and uh, yeah, it's fascinating to listen. I think we're just getting to the part now where he really like levels up, steps up. It's really good to listen to. And uh, he just has slightly different perspectives on some words. So for example, motivation to him is something that he doesn't regard very highly because motivation isn't something that will help you perform consistently. Um, he describes it as like the kindling to the fire. So there's a purpose for it, but it isn't something that we should hold too much value on because motivation comes and goes, it wavers. And so it's more important to have discipline and drive and passion over motivation. So try to, to find those things over looking for motivation because I think that I can relate to that, that the discipline definitely is what keeps me on track. And I feel like I fell slightly off track with training, with all of the traveling that we've been doing recently. And I do need a little bit of motivation, which is why I'm talking about this, because I was thinking of the word motivation, just to give me a little bit of a, um, a kickstart into getting in the gym. And this morning, I had a little reminder of that through David Goggins. It was to obviously just to remind myself that you just have to get up and get it done because you don't have to be comfortable and enjoy everything that you're doing all of the time because some things just need to be done. And I know that when I finish that gym session, if I put 100% in, I'm gonna be coming out of that feeling amazing. And if I go in there and I put 25% in, which is what's been going down recently, I'm gonna come out of there and I'm gonna be disappointed in myself. And the only person that can change that is me. And so I'm having a little bit of pep talk with myself at the moment with the gym. Everything else is going well, working hard, socializing well, um, I'm getting good sleep and the routine and everything's going quite well. I'm even getting in the gym, but my effort level is below par. So I've had a few pep talks and hopefully we'll get back on track with that. But anyway, went off on one there. Let me know if you've actually listened to his book because I was like, it took me a while to know whether I was liking it or not. As we're moving on through it, I'm starting to understand the kind of general feeling and gist of, of what they're trying to get at and taking bits with a pinch of salt and I'm, I'm enjoying it. So uh, yeah, if any of you have finished that, I'd be interested to hear what you thought about it. Well, as they say, when mummy's away, the boys will play. Dogs are in the office. I definitely shouldn't be in the office right now because it's getting very late, but I thought I'd quickly show you what's arrived today because we have had some parcels arrive. So first up, Estee Lauder have sent out their night repair kit and inside, I have to get this out of my office because it's reminded me of a of a uh, chocolate box and every time I look at it, my tummy's like, oh, I could do with something sweet. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely not inside. You can see we've got uh, two products and I've used the Advanced Night Repair many times before. I think it's fantastic. I do have lots of serums that I enjoy and that I like. This definitely is one of them that works with my skin. And then here we have the Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Gel Creme. I've definitely had their eye cream before, but I'm not 100% sure if I remember it looking like this. You see? Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll give this a go because I do like to wear an eye cream at night. I've got to a point now where if I don't apply moisturizer, it irritates me because I can feel my skin like tight. And so uh, I used to be really bad and really sort of miscomplacent with my skincare, uh, both in the mornings and at night. But now it's like, if I've had a shower at any time in the day, I have to put on product afterwards because my skin feels tight. And again, before bed, first thing in the morning, I am very militant with it. So um, yeah, we'll give those products a, a whirl. I'm actually currently using an Elemis serum um, that I've nearly run out of. It's a brilliant serum. Um, and I'm using my Creme de la Mer, of course, my moisturizer. And I'm also using a Elemis eye cream as well. Um, so they will be run out very soon. So this has actually come at a really nice time because I don't like to cross over using products at the same time. So I'm not a big fan of like using loads of different products all of the time because I find it irritates my skin and I end up getting like rashes and, and spots and stuff. And so I like to use a product as soon as I've 
finished with it, then I move on to the next one. And so I think before um, the Elemis stuff, I was using my Horace products, um, and then I went on to the Elemis, and then next we'll probably go on to Estee Lauder and use those. So I like to work through them in that kind of structure. I actually also received recently um, some really nice um, shower stuff from Rituals, and I've only been using it for a few days, but one of them is a gel foam, and it's like a shower foam. And I guess it would be the equivalent of like a shower gel, but it comes in a foam and it smells amazing and it's so easy to apply. It kind of reminds me of like a car wash when it sounds so strange saying that, but it reminds me of like a car wash. When you wash your car and you get all of like the foam and everything over it, it's kind of like how it applies to your body and then you rinse it off. And I don't know why, it's really a psychological thing. It just makes me feel cleaner. I'll link that actually in my description box, the uh, Rituals Foam shower gel i'm not sure if that's exactly what it's called but um, it's a fantastic product and of course i'll link these featured ones as well now just before uh, we move on i had a big parcel arrive from android hom just before i left had a little sneak peek inside but i didn't have enough time to sort it out so um, we'll quickly go through that now as well. Android Home are an LA based sneaker brand. So the note inside says, hey Ali, here's our latest drop, the El Porto. We hope you love it. So inside the box, we have a little mini bottle of wine from Porto. See what they're doing here. And um, they've sent out a, a candle which is paper and sumi ink, Venice. So it's actually a candle. Oh, it smells really lovely. It's actually an Android home candle. We've got the jet black water bottle. These are so handy. These little, um, I can't remember what you call them, like lanyard clips, very handy. I'll be able to use this at golf. A little Android home cookie, which is probably not edible anymore because it's been in a box for too long. And the main event, the Android home run division, El Porto sneakers. I have got no idea what these look like. So we are about to discover this together. Stylish, durable and lightweight stretch. Resistant to tears, scuffs and abrasions. Designed for living, built to last. And then they've repeated that in other languages. So Cordura makes the product more durable. So these are gonna be some like hard wearing sneakers. So as you can see, let me just remove these tag, hang on. Let's get all purdy on the job. This knife has come in so handy. I knew it would. Also, I feel like it's getting sharp all the time as well. Very cool. So these right here are the new El Porto sneakers from Android Home. You can see them clearly now. They've got really great tread on the bottom of them. They've got a nice big heel at the back and they've got a little gold inner sole with the Android Home Los Angeles text on. I'm assuming that this is a sneaker that can be worn for like casual occasions, and I wonder if you can train in this as well. I'll have to do uh, some reading to find out, but thank you very much to Android Hall. I'd love to know a little bit more about Cordura. Well, I'll give these little puppies a test drive soon and uh, let you know how I get on, but I am going to wrap this video up. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this week's video. Um, it was a nice little adventure across to Mallorca. I can't remember what year Lids and I went to Mallorca, but it was a very, very, very long time ago. It was nice to go back. Weather is absolutely insane there right now. I will leave the details also to Mal Jim in the description box below. And I'll be seeing you next Wednesday, 5 p.m. Have a great weekend and rest of the week, and we'll be seeing you soon. Peace.